Judgment at my surprise when I tell you that the entire village came to me in a body just now and implored me to join them in matrimony with as little delay as possible. That even your excellent father has hinted to me that before very long it is not unlikely that he also may change his condition. Oh, well, then, do you hear that? Are you not delighted? Yes, I confess a union between your mother and my father is a happy circumstance indeed. Sir, the news you bring us is very gratifying. Yes, still, in my eyes, it has its melancholy side. This universal marrying recalls the happy days, now alas, gone forever, when I myself might help them. But Tush, I am puling, I am far too old to marry. And yet, in the last half an hour, I have greatly yearned for companionship. <laughs> I have never remarked it before, but the young maidens of this village are very comely. <laughs> so likewise are the middle-aged. Also the elderly. <laughs> all are comely. Oh, and all are engaged. Here comes your father! This is Partlet! Oh, Teddy! Give me joy! Alexis, my dear boy, you will, I am sure, be pleased to hear that my declining days are not unlikely to be solaced by the companionship of this good, virtuous, and amiable woman. Uh, father, I'm taken somewhat by surprise. This is not altogether what I expected. But still, it is not necessary to assure you that the wife of yours is a mother of mine, although it's not quite what I could have wished. <coughs> oh, sir, I entreat your forgiveness. I am aware that socially I am not everything that could be desired, nor am I blessed with an abundance of worldly goods. But I can confer on your estimable father the great and priceless dowry of a true, tender, and loving husband. <laughs> I, I do not question it. After all, a faithful love is the true source of every earthly joy. Yet <laughs> <laughs> I knew my boy would not blame his father for acting on the impulse of a heart which has never yet let him down. <sighs> Zora <clears throat> is not perhaps what the world would call beautiful, the, and yet she is comely, <laughs> distinctly comely. Zora is very good and very clean and honest and quite, quite sober in her habits. And that is worth far more than beauty, dear Sir Marmaduke. Yes, beauty may fade and perish, but personal cleanliness is practically undying, for it can be renewed whenever it discovers symptoms of decay. Now, my dear Sir Marmaduke, I offer my heartiest congratulations. I rejoice that it's decided Happy now will be my life For my father is provided With a kind and tender wife She will tend him, nurse him, mend him Air his linen, dry his tears Bless the thoughtful things that send him Such a wife to soothe his years
Oh, I have wrought such evil with my spell, an ill I can't undo. This is too bad of you, J.W. Wells. What wrong have they done you? And see, another love long lady comes. Alas, poor stricken dame. A gentle pensioner alike benumbs, and I alone the blame. She's going to adore me. <laughs> this last catastrophe is overpowering. Oh, why do you gaze at me with this drawing? Oh, feel to shake, recoil not thus from me. My lady, leave me, this can never be. Take me, I drop my nature's and through life. Take me, I always eat peas with an eye.
So 